hello guys welcome back to AppSheet tutorial so in this video we are going to see about list dereference so dereference means it's a it will give a list of items in a bulk to produce a list the resulting value so which means so we have already uh, saw our previous video how to refer another table to fetch the list of items so dereference list dereference means from that list we are going to create another list so for example if we say we have a list of products and that products we are referring to create a new sheet for ordering so maybe the order date we are going to give so from that particular related orders the order date can be fetched just giving that related orders so which means the reference column and the respective table column so let's see the demo how we can so we can understand better and after that we're going to see about how we're going to sort in ascending order as well as descending order so using order by function okay so let's get started so we have already created the app so if you're new to this channel just check out the app sheet expressions to understand the basics of expressions how we're going to use the important expressions we have covered so let's create a new table for this list d reference so i have already created this so in this use case we are going to use the sheet called products here we have three different products laptop mobile and tv and the respective price so what we are going to do is we are going to refer the product column to this products sheet and the respective price we are going to patch okay so from this so whoever ordered the order date and price will come and if you want to see this particular products sales so you can get using the dereferencing with the list so i will show you how to do this so you can understand better now we will add the table called this dereference So we have already this products data table which we have ordered on this table so products products so we have already added the products and we are going to refer the product column so app sheet automatically referencing the products to the products column by using this column name okay it's already referred to this products so now what we're going to do is we will fetch the price also of the respective product in the formula mm. that will use the lookup or We will use the reference column. Thanks. Thanks. So, so we will use the reference column. Look up. The first syntax will be the column name which we are going to match. This row dot. Right. The second syntax is the table name which is the products this should be imports okay now on the third column third syntax should be the product the column which we are matching okay and fourth will be the return column so which we want points So what does it mean? First and third syntax and second and fourth should be like this should be the matching column first and third and second is the product column which we are returning the price. Okay. And we have to create a new form. View for the 
this di reference. Okay. Now, let's see. Now we have saved the list reference. If you see the product, if you are selecting uh, laptop, mobile, and TV, so his order is laptop, mobile, and TV. We are showing right? now. I'm selecting laptop, so the price is showing 400. I ordered it, maybe save. Okay. And I'm going to add another product called mobile with this price, and I'm saving. So now we have referenced these columns from the products. Let's do the dereference in the product. We can so since we are referencing the products to this list dereference, it's automatically created related list dereferences. This is the referring rows of this different list dereference table name and the product. So product which is the unique id of this column of this table called product name okay so actually i mean it's still the ref rows list d reference product which means it is referring to the rows of the table list d reference and their respective column product so if you see the list d reference table so the column name product which is the key actually this should okay for as of now we will make the key as the row number because okay. maybe we can be going to add multiple products that's why we want row number as key now if you see the products the approach will be there actually it should change the Because now we change the key column to be row number. Oh, sorry, sorry. It should be product only. So because uh, the value of column product is equal to the value of column product name, it means the product name value is going to be the key of the product name right there. Okay. So let's keep like this. Now we have added uh, two related mobile and uh, laptop orders. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a new virtual column. So some total. Maybe we can say total sales. total sales amount of this product so here one laptop and one mobile got the reference which means ordered so using the column related this d references and the price which means this price it denotes the related list d references and their respective price okay. Now we'll save this and we just hide this related list data branches. So here now if you can see So we have dereferred the related list dereference table, which means so if you see the newly added total sales amount of these products we have got, which is showing 400, right? Because we have added only one laptop, and for mobile there will be the total sales amount, and we haven't added TV, 
so we won't get the TVF plus thousand things it will be black so we will do some more changes for this formula let's do so this is the list of prices which will come for this particular product sum of this list Change this to price. Yeah. So since the sum will give the price, total price, I will just change to price. Yeah. So this is somewhat complex to understand initially. So I will just give you the recap finally. Just so if you see here, so the total sales for laptop is four hundred. Now, if we add another laptop, I'm going to add another laptop. The order date may be say five, save. So, two orders for laptop came, right? So, if we, now if you go and see the laptop, total sales amount of this product which is eight hundred dollar. Okay. So, it will get automatically using this formula sum. We are uh, we are checking we are getting the price of the column of this related list of product data prices which means this two laptop which we refer and the price is calculated automatically and we are showing so now if you see the mobile there will be only one sale happen and for tv there is no sale happen this is zero okay so this is the use case of the Deductions in the list, so which means the list which you have referred, we are going to derefer and fetching their respective columns. Okay, which means the respective table columns. Now, what we're going to see is uh, list dereference. We are getting the product right, laptop, mobile, TV. So which is not in the order, laptop. If you go and see the products, laptop, mobile, and TV. So if you want to show, like sort the price, so the least one should come top. So ascending order. So in that ascending order means 100, 200, 400. So like high, low to high price range. So for that, what we're going to do is we will go to this table list data friends. And in the columns, so we are referring the product, right? We just select the columns, move the auto compute. We're going to suggest the values based on the order. So for that, order by products, name. If you see products table and the product name, okay. products, product name, order using the column price, so which means sort using the column price. Okay, now this sort will do ascending order, okay, because we haven't given the third syntax. The first syntax is the list of items. And the second syntax is the sorting parameter which we are going to sort based on the price. And the third syntax is true or false, which means true means ascending or sorry, descending order. So if we haven't given any third parameter, it will sort in the ascending order. Okay, so now save with the suggested values. So if we haven't given any suggested values, it will show in the based on the spreadsheet list laptop mobile and tv now we are showing right so you see the laptop mobile and tv now we are showing once i added the suggested values and we save it will sort based on the price value under 200 and 400 okay which, which means mobile tv and laptop should come so now i am going to list the reference and selecting product the first one mobile second tv third laptop okay. so see first one mobile 
that means dv so which means 100 to 100 400 units smaller to larger low to high price if you want the same thing showing high to low now we are going to add a simply third syntax called true so just simply add true So I have a true same of laptop TV mobile. This is laptop TV mobile, which is sorted in high to low price. Okay, so this is the, the use case of the order by. So if you have any doubt, just leave a comment. Now I just want to show the final D reference list D reference. So now we see the total sales amount of this product, right? So we'll add another which will call called Sales. Which means this is the list. Stop product. So product count. And then just Fetching the related list of the product count and same. So now we will go and see the products. Laptop, got two sales. And PC mobile one sale, details zero. Okay. So this is uh, so the referencing column means which is referenced using this column using the sheet which we are going to derefer how many based on the references. So I will I can choose product or price while dereferencing of that particular sheet. So this laptop is referenced from this product sheet which we are going to derefer in the product sheet. Means derefer means how many like the price or game or how many pounds sales like that you can get. Okay, thanks for watching. So in the next video we are going to see about uh, one of the important topics called uh, the list you can create from expressions and uh, the upcoming advanced features of list okay so thanks for watching if you like the video just subscribe and hit the bell icon thank you bye bye